In the beautiful old city of Savannah, a small group gathers to ask a potentially ugly question. What happened to Matthew Ajibide? For his family, the cause of Matthew's death remains a mystery, but it should not be. The 21-year-old college student was studying computer science. Friends describe him as bright, hardworking, and much loved. That is not the Ajibide police described when they showed up New Year's Day at this gas station for a disturbance. Surveillance video captures a struggle between Ajibide and his girlfriend. A police report says the woman's face was bruised and her nose was bleeding. Police say he refused to let her go and fought back. Mr. Ajibide started to resist apprehension in a violent manner. At the jail, things got worse. According to a statement from the county sheriff's office, Ajibide became combative during the booking process, injuring three deputies, including a female sergeant who suffered a concussion and broken nose. Eventually, authorities say he was restrained. His supporters uh, described something else. He was injured, handcuffed to a restraining chair and tased. He was left untended and he died. Four months later, there is still no public explanation of how the 21-year-old died. How does that happen? There, there has to be an answer. The family has hired attorney Mark O'Mara, a CNN legal analyst who once represented George Zimmerman in the death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. They first said they took a few weeks for an autopsy. That's long done by now, but we don't know what it said. According to authorities, several video cameras captured the struggle in the booking area, but that video like much of the investigation, remains under wraps in the hands of the DA, which, in a statement, told CNN, the district attorney is currently reviewing the file, a spokesman said, and would not elaborate on what was within the file or a timeline on when, if, a decision to file charges would be made. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ajibade's supporters delivered a letter to the Chatham County attorney demanding documents and videos from the case calling for transparency. As for the alleged Jekyll and Hyde personality of Ajibade, his family says he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder three years ago, and he was having a medical emergency at the time of his arrest. Ajibade's girlfriend says she told that to police and asked that he be taken to the hospital. Instead, he was taken to jail. His family says that made all the difference between life and death. Martin Savage, CNN.